Hello everyone, my name is Paromita Dasgupta and I am one of the teaching assistants for this quantum mechanics course. Today I am going to solve some problems from assignments. Let us start with assignment number 1 and we will solve question number 2. In question number 2, we have in a thermonuclear explosion the temperature in the fireball is momentarily given as 10 to the power 6 Kelvin. So, it asks for the wavelength lambda at which the radiation emitted is maximum and we need to find out this wavelength in Armstrong where 1 meter is 10 to the power 10 Armstrong. Let us try to solve this problem. So, please recall from week 1 lecture that we learnt about Wien's displacement law and what we have learnt there that mu max this is the frequency at which the radiancy which is a energy radiated per time per area by the black body it is maximum. So, nu max is the frequency at which this radiancy is maximum this mu is proportional to the absolute temperature. So, we have also learned from Stefan's law that the radiancy is sigma t to the power 4, where t is the absolute temperature, sigma is the Stefan Boltzmann constant. and R is the radiancy or the energy emitted per unit area per unit time. So, if I look at this Wien's displacement law, I can immediately see that as C the velocity of light is mu lambda. So, lambda max should be proportional to 1 over T. So, lambda max t equal to a constant which we call the Wien's constant. So, it is given that the temperature is 10 to the power 6 Kelvin momentarily. So, we need to found, find out the wavelength at which this r T nu or I can also write it as R T lambda becomes maximum. So, lambda max is the constant which is the Wien's constant divided by given temperature 10 to the power 6 and this constant value is 2.898. 10 to the power minus 3 and I have 10 to the power 6 Kelvin. So, when I divide I get 2.898 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter and we have already seen that 1 meter is 10 to the power 10 Armstrong. So, when I write it here I get 2.898 into 10 to the power 9 into 1 10 to the power 10 Armstrong. So, I basically get 28.98 Armstrong or approximately 29 Armstrong. That is the correct answer for lambda max. At which wavelength the radiancy 
is maximum. Now, if we recall from the lecture note, we plotted this R t nu, where R is proportional to the absolute temperature to the power 4. If I plot it as a function of nu, I get that when T suppose is 500 Kelvin, then say the nu max is right here. So, correspondingly the R T is here, this is the maximum value of the radiance. So, what I get is the peak is here and then it goes like this. Now, if I go to T as 1000 Kelvin, so I can see that nu max is proportional to absolute temperature, this is what the Wine's law tells us. So, basically at higher temperature, the frequency at which the radiancy becomes maximum shifts towards the right side here. Suppose, at this frequency I am getting this. So, let, it, let us draw that too. Suppose, here. And if I now write T to be say 2000 Kelvin, then nu max value is nu value is suppose right here. So, at this nu max 3 radiancy is maximum. So, basically I then get something like this. This is how this radiation should depend on the frequency of radiation. That solves the first problem and let us move on to the second problem which is assignment number 4, question number 2. So, in assignment number 4, question number 5, we need to find out the de Broglie wavelength of electron that is accelerated by a potential difference or a voltage say V equal to 10 to the power 4 volt. So, the kinetic energy is half m e v let us write u. So, a half m e u square is q times v where q is the charge v is the voltage difference and m e is the mass of electron and u is the velocity of electron. So, if I multiply both side with the mass of electron what I will get is m e square u square is 2 q v m e and you can already see that m e u is nothing but the momentum which is root over of 2 q v m e. So, we will use this equation to find out the momentum and then from the momentum we will find out the de Broglie wavelength. So, P we found out as 2 q v m e. Now, q is 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb, v is given as 10 to the power 4 volt, m e is 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram approximately. So, when I plug into this equation, I get P as 5.396 10 to the power minus 23 meter kilogram per second. And H is 6.626 10 to the power minus 34 unit and when I want to find out the de Broglie wavelength that is H by P which is 6.626 10 to the power minus 34 divided by the value of P that we found out here which is this 
and we write that here which is 5.396 10 to the power minus 23 and we get 1.22 into 10 to the power minus 11 meter. We have already seen that we know that 1 meter is 10 to the power 10 Armstrong. So, when I use that here I get 1.22 10 to the power minus 11 times 10 to the power 10 Armstrong and I get 0 0.122 Armstrong as the value of lambda de Broglie wavelength for the electron. That is the correct answer for this question.